I don't remember this. Okay, now the fuck do I gotta do? Speak to her. So I got to go to the tower. Do this thing. I have a lot of catching up to do. It's gonna be fun. I'm downloading this RPG game now. Let's change it the same every time. Uh, Neverwinter. Hmm. I think it's called, yeah, Neverwinter. Never heard of it. It's free. Nice. Seen like trailers for it's like a big ass fucking up world and RPG shit. That's cool. You fight some interesting looking monsters, like like the little icon on the game is a fucking like five headed dragon. I'm like, I, I want to fight that. I want to fight that. Wanna... Every time I get like loaded in the game, I have no fuck clue what any of the shit means. I'm just like looking at a. Hot bar with all this icons and shit. I'm like, fuck this, I'm out. Like, I get like two seconds into the game and just quit. <laughs> Cause I don't know what the fuck's going on. I always pick out like a warlock or some magic shit, but I have no fucking goals to do. <laughs> I had another one, but I don't know played it. I started working on my. Big ass castle in Minecraft, but I just haven't got around to really doing it. Cause all y'all, cause you and the other two haven't been online, so I haven't really seen the point of playing it. Kinda like a group project. Yeah. Oh man. You get this void. Powerful. And the what? Uh -huh. Paramiridium? What the hell is that?
Yeah, I remember back in Destiny 1, we spent hours just fucking grinding our raids. That was good times. Yeah. Yeah. That was probably, that was probably by Destiny. And I got this, and I've never really done anything. I do I've never had any shit. I kind of wish instead of them making Destiny 2, they could just add more expansion to Destiny 1. That would have been way better. I'm gonna we got a new game. God, I have eight kills. Holy crap! Jesus Christ! I probably won't make it any because my uh, legs so much. Oh my God! That was no fucking clue. Crazy. This is. No clue. The periridium is. Oh my god. Killed two entire squad, or I, yeah, I guess. Yeah. It, it was close. I suspect we will find something here. Yes. Yes. I like the fact the whole premise in Destiny's two campaign was that we all lost like the light, and then we had to like regain it. Mm -hmm. Now in like second mission, we get our ship back. Yeah. Like maybe we should have gone like the No, which I mean and is good because we wouldn't have been able to do anything without our light because they wouldn't have been able to explain all the times that we were guy. able to die. Unless they made the game like five dollars and if you ever if you died in any of it you had to buy the game again. I've always thought about doing a game like, like that. Make over. like a make like a three dollar game and then make it to where if you die at all you can't play until you buy another game. You know? I'm not sure how many people would buy that, but in the interesting concept. We also gotta make the game good. <laughs> yeah. He would slowly gain all the 
money you lost from developing the game, but mm -hmm. come back eventually. Unless, you know, everyone just somehow just finds a way to not die at all and just waste a fuck ton of money. I suspect we will find something here. You gotta make it like a hard but fair. It's a hard balance to find. Like, I need to turn on gun sound because I can't. This, this is an odd feeling. Since when did the Vex become like a fucking like world ending like race? I don't know. Well, I mean, well, Osiris just focuses on them, so that's why, but. Oh my god, that actually made me jump! That's it, yeah. Destiny 1, these guys are just. Oh yeah, they, they exist. Also, I remember you can just go, like, go through missions just while going in orbit, just in orbit, and just put on a mission on the ground. I just really don't wish I would have kept it that way. I guess it gives more incentive to be doing stuff, but having to, you know, go in orbit, have like, a limited mission going into the area, run all the way to the mission. I fuck